look, another Christmas Carol parody episode. Now before someone jumps down my throat about why I just said what I said, hear me out for a little bit. So basically the episode begins with everybody setting up for Harp Swarming Eve, which Starlight Glimmer not exactly looking like she's that into this kind of holiday. Seeing it as kind of just like kind of a holiday for people to just give gifts and stuff like that and not really much else in, to some extent she's right, but Twilight decides to talk with her and tell her one of her favorite stories called a harp swarming tale. Yes, it's exactly what many people think it is. It's basically a parody off of A Christmas Carol, and that it leads to one of the things about this episode is that it is predictable as all hell. Now, don't get it twisted. Predictability is not a bad thing as long as it's interesting, and to give credit where credit is due, this episode is enjoyable despite its predictability. I mean, Throughout the entire episode, all we're getting is basically a a slight change slash slight interpretation of A Christmas Carol, where instead of Ebenezer Scrooge, we have Snowfall, if I'm saying their name correctly, and she's trying to create a spell that will basically get rid of Harp Swarming Eve altogether, because she really doesn't see the holiday as anything special, and she feels like ponies need to basically become better through hard work and otherwise, which... You kind of get the idea, kind of almost like Ebenezer in some cases, if you think about it. Now, of course, because this is a parody of A Christmas Carol, this episode's also a musical, which, as many of you know, I don't like musicals. I'm not the biggest fan of them. And I'm gonna say this right now, some of these songs I was relatively okay with. Like, the first song, the reprisal of the first song, and I believe, uh, dang it, was it? It was Applejack's song, you know, The Ghost of Christmas Past. Well, I'm gonna call it that anyways. Those songs I was impartial towards, but the one for the, you know, like the Ghost of Harp Swarming Future and Harp Swarming Present, those songs were really freaking good. And Snowball's song was really good too, so half the songs I'm impartial towards, while the other half I really love, especially the Ghost of Harp Swarming Future. That song gave me chills down my spine. I mean, seriously, listen to that song again, like, listen to an instrumental of that song, and tell me that wouldn't fit as a final boss theme in an RPG. I honestly think it would. There really is not much else for me to say about this episode, considering that it's just a parody of A Christmas Carol, so I'll just end it off like this. Half the songs I was impartial towards, but the ones that I did enjoy were absolutely phenomenal. The episode is predictable, but it is enjoyable as all hell. And not to mention, this episode has a lot of good... In you know, comedic value. It has a lot of comedic moments. I love the designs of the ponies in the different settings and various other things of that nature. So there's not much else I can say about this episode besides as a Christmas Carol parody, it's a good one. Not the best I've seen. I definitely have seen better, but it's still good for what it was. And I definitely like the twist that they made. So it was enough for me to say that it stands out on its own and it actually does well as a parody of a Christmas Carol. So yeah, good job episode. And that's my speed impressions on a harp swarming tale.